I'm going to hunt you down, I'm going to kill you, I'll kill my kids because if I can't have them, nobody can, things like that. You do really think about that. Um, and I guess it, when you're in that situation, you sort of feel like you have more control if you stay in that situation, even though staying in it is actually worse than getting out. I guess it was when I fell pregnant with my first child to him that things started to become very different and basically with that, um, at the time I was only 18 when I first felt pregnant and we felt like we had to go and get married. It was actually that day when things just did a big 360 so he pretty much turned around and said, I own you now, so you do whatever I say. that way but he would be very standoverish. I could be like vomiting into a bucket um, with severe like, morning sickness and he would want something then and there. He'd actually picked up my two month old by the feet, um, sh shook her severely, threw her straight at one of those um, old school metal bouncers and because she hit that that hard She's literally flown halfway up a wall and hit that and fell to the ground below. Um, Look at that, there's your, na there's your name there, <laughs> you know. Steve made it really easy, like uh, the, the way he spoke and um, the way he ran the classes, I found really encouraging. Feelings that I'd gotten from that, I was like, I want everyone else to feel like that too. It doesn't have to be through, you know, fighting as such or anything, but I wanted them to know that they can go through all of that bad stuff and it doesn't matter how bad that, you know, their past might have been, what they've gone through, they can still um, do what they want to do, they can still become who they want to be, they can find that. Um, strength within them or you know that that person they may have been before they had gone through particular situations and bring that back out and find themselves again.